In this village, people are mourning a friend and comrade. Carlos Yunda fought for the FARC guerrillas for two decades. But he was killed after laying down his weapons and starting a family. His death is still being investigated. But incidents like this undermine faith in Colombia's peace deal. The peace deal cost him his life. It took his smile away and the chance to see his children grow up and prosper. He will never see that. According to the UN, more than 120 former FARC rebels have been killed since the peace deal was signed in 2016. Some in revenge for crimes committed during the war. Others have been killed for back-end social projects that go against the interests of drug trafficking organizations. We may have given up our weapons, but we are still targeted by groups that oppose the peace deal. They are trying to silence us and they are trying to stop social changes in Colombia. Security is not the only challenge the former fighters face. Projects aimed at helping them to become financially independent have been slow to get off the ground. And housing programs haven't worked out as planned. To help the rebels adjust to civilian life, Colombia built several rural villages like this one. But jobs can be hard to come by in these places, and security can also be a problem. This transition village in the west of Colombia used to have 200 residents. Now it has less than 30. At this farm, former rebels have been able to plant some crops and set up a pigsty with the help of an NGO. During his final days, Carlos Yunda also worked in these fields. What happened is terrible. I know six former fighters have been killed, and I live with the fear that I could also be killed. I just hope we can be allowed to do our work and focus on the present. Despite the threats and modest financial support, this group of former rebels has decided to stick with the peace deal. But hundreds have reportedly joined criminal groups as they lose faith in the transition to a new life. Manuel Rueda, TRT World, Cauca, Colombia.